Welcome to It's About Time on Think Tech from our downtown studio at the core of downtown Honolulu. I'm your host, Becky Sampson. I'm a professional motivational speaker, trainer, and coach. So most of us struggle with some sort of health issue, oftentimes feeling like there are limited solutions out there to overcome these challenges. Being bombarded with endless opinions and options, it can definitely get very confusing. So today joining me in the studio is Karina Pearl and Tammy Wadsworth with PIBCO, the Pain Injury Brain Centers of America, a not so new technology and mostly unknown powerful solutions to everyday medical conditions. So welcome you guys. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. thanks for coming. I know it's been kind of a crazy day for all of us. <laughs> So uh, tell everybody kind of, now you're, you're on island just for a short period of time, Tammy. We are. And you've been doing some training with, um, with Karina. Kind of explain uh, what, because you're the franchise owner of Pipco, Pipcoa. And Thank I'm you. the founder of Pipcoa, and Karina's our franchise owner. Awesome, awesome. So tell us a little bit about what this organization is and, and what it's all about. Well, I have a nursing background, a healthcare background, mm -hmm. and 11 years ago I was dismayed to find out that there was a technology available to professional athletes and not widely available to the general public. Mm -hmm. And I'm a pretty tender-hearted person until I find something out like that, and it's time to take off your shoe and just say, are you kidding? Yeah. And so the last 11 years, we've spent our time trying to bring this technology to the public. A few years mm -hmm. ago we uh, franchised, and we're so excited to bring this technology now to Hawaii. I, like I know, that. and it's, it's something, now a lot of people, what, what is the technology? What, let's start off with that, actually, and then we'll kind of go into some of, the, some of the issues that you've seen or you guys have both seen, because you've both been able to help a lot of people and how, how we can kind of do those, you know, give them some solutions for that. But what, what is the technology? The therapy is called AI myonervascular therapy. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is doing, it's looking for electrical disruption in the body. We're electrical beings. We produce electricity in the brain that runs the body. How many people really know that, though? Well, <laughs> uh, not too many. <laughs> and so we have a lot of education so, to do. Mm -hmm. So say that again. We're electrical beings, beings. right? And we produce 85% um, of our electricity in our brain and 15% in our heart. Mm. And if we don't produce enough electricity in the brain to run the body, then the body suffers from electrical disruption. Disease processes start. So the generation really, takes place. Very, very simple. I was just telling you today, I have a lot of electricity going through me today. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> and sometimes that causes diseases, uh -huh. right? Because, exactly. Yeah. So what, tell a little bit more about the, the actual technology, because I know it's a machine, right? It's equipment, yes. Yeah, talk about that a little bit. Well, the equipment was actually developed by your same scientific team that developed your EEG your EKG, your EMG, and your lie detector. Mm. This is something they developed at the end of their career. They had spent millions of dollars bringing those other devices to the public. But this is something that was developed at the end of their career. A few of the scientists had retired, and they just never put the money into pushing this forward like it needed to. And I really believe it's one of their greatest devices. The other devices they invented diagnosed, and they said, you know, we can see electrical disruption in the body. We can record electrical disruption in the, in the brain, the heart, the muscles, and the nerves. Mm -hmm. And they said, we should be able to fix it, but mm -hmm. they didn't know how. Mm -hmm. At that time, the United States government was working on the Star Wars project, and it mm -hmm. wasn't a movie, mm -hmm. although Star Wars did come out right. then in the 1970s. But they went to work for the Department of Defense, and they learned about artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And the government was at that time researching how to manipulate electrical currents, mm -hmm. even between a millionth and a trillionth of an ampere. Mm -hmm. They learned what they could for, uh, from the Department of Defense, went back and put artificial intelligence in the devices that they originally developed. Mm -hmm. And so the devices were, were born in the late 1970s, but they chose to ever fully market it among the prof professional athletic world. Wow, so and it really was just in the athletics and now your mission really is to get it to the average everyday person. Right. Because there's so many solutions to that. Right. What, what Karina, tell everybody kind of how you got involved in this because this, this has really made a huge difference for you. I mean, such a big difference that you're now the franchise owner here in Hawaii. Truly. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm privileged to be part of the mission of Pitkoa. Yeah. And I started as a patient. Mm -hmm. Student at BYU here in Hawaii mm -hmm. and Brigham Young University and struggling, mm -hmm. struggling with depression and anxiety that I had for many years. Which a lot of people have nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, and for a long time, I didn't know how to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I felt so different and captive inside of myself. And I did the best that I could with the resources that I had. So when I heard of Pipcoa through a family member back home in Utah, mm -hmm. I took a break from school and I went to go get treatment. And that's really, that really was a beginning. Wow. Within a few weeks, I was sleeping through the night. Mm. Um, I was so anxious that I couldn't go to sleep without turning. When I would turn on the lights, there was a knife under my pillow or a bat by my bed. Mm. And always nervous and hesitant, yeah. um, danger. Had a little bit of PTSD from past experiences, mm -hmm. but I kind of always put it under the rug. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where it was getting in the way of, of what I wanted to create in my life. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of exhaustion where you're so tired, even yeah. blinking your eyes is, is tired. And so when I went through the treatments, it was a matter of days when I started to, I, you know that heaviness in your yeah. eye when you're so tired, it's like something's like sitting. Yeah, right like here. you're drunk. Yeah, like you're heavy. <laughs> yeah. You're heavy. Yeah. And I felt light. Mm -hmm. And I felt a genuine desire to connect with the people around me, which before it really drained me. Yeah, because depression and anxiety, I know, and that's a lot, it disconnects people from the world, mm -hmm. really. And then they feel like they're like alone and feel like they're the only people that are struggling like that. And so who introduced you to this technology? So I have an aunt who uh -huh. lived in Utah in the same neighborhood as the owner of the franchise in Utah in St. George. Cool. And she's like an auntie and her niece was going through treatment. So seven-year-old going through treatments. She's a little, didn't really understand what yeah. Pipcoa was when I was told over the phone. But I heard that there was pretty incredible results in the behavior of my loved little girl, you know. And so I took a risk and mm -hmm. went on a leap of faith. And it was one of the greatest decisions I've ever made in my life. Was it something that you were familiar with, with this technology? Or, I mean, was this all totally new to you? Absolutely not. Totally new? That our bodies are electrical beings. I'm like, you know, you get a balloon and your hair right. goes up. Or, right. like, you have socks and, like, you get shocked or, like, touch something, you know. And you get that feeling. Yeah. Or you energetically connect with somebody mm -hmm. and you feel like you know them, you know. Mm -hmm. And, but that's as much it that I understood really how the body also had a physical side, a physicist, not just yeah. the chemical side. And that if we looked at the body through both ends, that the physicist really could lead the chemical beautifully. And I saw that in myself. At the very end of treatments, I knew I, I don't know if that feeling where you come across something you were prepared for. Right. And it's easy. It's natural. And you feel it so deep inside. And yeah. that's really what led my, governed my choices after that when it came to wanting to know everything about Pipco and what was the mission behind. And that's when I discovered it was a franchise. Well, I think you, you've got a great point because a lot of times we were, t actually on the way here, we were talking a little bit about how sometimes people can feel kind of woo-woo about anything that's electrical or quantum physics or any of those kind of things. What have you been your, you don't really need to know everything about the science of it to know that, that it still works. It works, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, have you found that or did, some people may come into treatments that know about it, and some don't. I mean, you didn't know a lot about it, so this was totally new to you. You just knew it worked, mm -hmm. right? The great thing is, you know, some people ask if what we do is alternative medicine mm -hmm. because they think it might be on the fringes and be out there. Yeah. And I say, absolutely, if you're thinking non-drug, non-invasive. Right. However, I live 40 minutes from Rochester, Minnesota, and we call her Mother Mayo, the Mayo Clinic. Mm. And um, so I know many doctors through the Mayo Clinic. And what's important to know about this technology, they're class two medical devices. So we have the science and the research to back up our right. claims and to validate what it is we do, mm -hmm. that we are electrical beings, that if you don't heal from an injury, it's electrical disruption. If you have an injury, it's electrical disruption. Mm -hmm. If you have something uh, neurological going on, mm -hmm. it's electrical disruption. People say, well, it's chemical disruption. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, what caused the chemical disruption? It was electrical disruption that caused the chemical disruption. So when we treat things like addiction, depression, mm -hmm. bipolar, but also any type of traumatic brain injury, concussion, mm -hmm. anything going on in the body, the equipment is looking for it. So they're class two medical devices. We have the science to back up our claims. We have the research. And um, it increases the body's own ability to heal by 500% with a documented 95%. I know, and that's a pretty amazing statistic to be able to say that 95% of the people that come into your clinics 
with all kinds of issues that you can, you can help them improve those things through just the electrical current, right, that you're, that you're re, is it rewiring? Is that what it is? Maybe reconnecting. Reconnecting. Okay, <laughs> reconnecting, reconnecting. Yeah. I know when you did the treatment with, with us last week, you know, it was, you can, you can tangibly feel it, at least I did. You can feel that energy going through and being able to feel a lot more grounded. And even though you don't understand, I know oftentimes as a public speaker, we talk about, you know, all of us use electricity, but we don't know how the electricity really works. You know, we just flip the switch and it works, right? So when you have people come in and it's what a great story that, I mean, you didn't know much about it. And then you ended up getting the results and you're like, hey, other people need this, right? That's such a great purpose for you to want to go out and help other people. I think that's opportunity you, you can create mm -hmm. when your body works with you mm -hmm. and together and you discover it's an instrument mm -hmm. and that, that it wants to heal. Mm -hmm. And when you incorporate everything together, it works as a whole. And yeah. we just get to do the electrical side. And something that really helped me um, was, you know, when you go to the doctor and you have a heart problem, mm -hmm. it's we're using the EKG, mm -hmm. electrical. Even when you die and you code on the bed and they bring you back, mm -hmm. it's that electrical yeah, current absolutely. that brings you I like back. That point. Yeah, and something that's really important to understand is that AI is just a simple way of saying it's like geekiness. You know, yeah. it's a calculator calculating yeah. math really fast. What's it calculating? Your information of your tissue. Mm. And then the electrical current, it's microcurrent. It's mm. so gentle, it is impossible for us to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Through what energy? Frequencies, mm -hmm. deltas, thetas, mm -hmm. betas, alphas, gammas. Mm -hmm. And they work together to create the optimum results for each person. Yeah. What would you say the most common issue that people have when they come into the clinic? Neurological. Neurological. In what sense? Like what, what are some of the conditions? Neuropathy, cancer fasciitis, neuropathy from diabetes, mm -hmm. ALS, Parkinson's degenerative diseases, neurological conditions. Mm -hmm. um, ideal partnership would be with a neurologist mm -hmm. because 98% of my patients have a neurologist mm -hmm. and they're at a standstill. They have mm -hmm. the best support, but there's something, something or somebody missing on their team. Yeah. And when they come in, I see people from their wheelchair go into their walker within a month. Mm. And how many treatment, treatment, treatments are there? during the week or do, is it once a week or what is it? That's a great question. So we're working with cells and increasing their capacity mm -hmm. to hold electricity. Mm -hmm. So stem cell and the family of stem cell just non-invasively. Mm -hmm. And so it takes time for us to send signal, mm -hmm. get the detox out of the body mm -hmm. and the cells begin to get stronger, maximize, energize, hold so that it's at its full ATP mm -hmm. level. And so the minimum is at least four, four times a week for mm -hmm. patients to come. Now it's up to you if you want optimum results, you want to get back into life, you have things right. waiting for you, and you can maximize, you know, two to three times a day or six times a week. But at least the minimum and still having the great quality treatment results or minimum. Awesome. Give people an example of what a treatment is like. They probably don't, I mean, they probably think you're going to zap them or something with these electrodes. But explain to them, because it's really gentle, it's, so, it's super gentle but explain to them kind of what you do when they come into the to the office for the first time what can they expect mm -hmm. so everything is non-invasive mm -hmm. pain-free so imagine going to your typical visit you're in a waiting room mm -hmm. music playing <laughs> anticipating waiting and the clinician will greet you the clinicians are trained to be able to work and be the facilitators and they're of the sweet. device. <laughs> yes. They're very nice. And most of the time they're CNAs yeah. or they're massage therapists. Mm -hmm. So they're acquainted mm -hmm. with the body and they love working with patients. So you come in and we'll do everything on a massage bed. And we'll show you, depending on the treatment of that day, we have quite a few tools for different symptoms, mm -hmm. very wide range. Typically. So person. yes, so we're, we're, we're going to go to a break real quick and then I want you to finish t telling people kind of what it's like when they come into the clinic because I don't want them to be scared at all because this is, this is actually a really great, uh, a great service that you provide for sure. So we're going to be taking a short break. I'm Becky Sampson. This is on It's About Time on ThinkTech. We're talking to Karina Pearl and Tammy Wattsworth with PIPCO, the Pain Injury and Brain Centers of America. We'll be right back in just a minute.
Aloha, my name is Victoria and I'm a host at the Adventures in Small Business. This is a collaboration between U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, and its partners, where we showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses, talk about how to start a business, talk about great tips for small business owners. Uh, please join us every Thursday, 11 a.m. at Think Tech Hawaii. Um, see you soon. Mahalo. Hello, I'm Mufi Hanavan. I want to tell you about a great show that appears on Think Tech Hawaii. It's all about tourism. In fact, we call it Tourism 101, where we talk about the issues and challenges that faces our number one industry throughout the state. We'll have some interesting guests, some very informative dialogue, and allow you an opportunity to maybe learn a little bit more about why this industry is so important for our state. It's been great for us in the past, we need it today, and especially going forward. That's Tourism 101 on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Hi, we're back. I'm Becky Sampson, and this is It's About Time. I'm with Karina Pearl and Tammy Wadsworth with PIPCOA. So we were talking kind of before the break of what, like when people come into the clinic, what kind of experience did they have? And I apologize, I kind of <laughs> cut you off, but if you can just back a little bit up and then and finish telling us that, that'd be awesome. Absolutely, it's the question everyone has. Yes. Yeah, what is it gonna be like for me? Mm -hmm. So it's your typical experience waiting in a waiting room for a clinic to see your doctor mm -hmm. or a visit um, massage therapist. You come in, you're waiting in a waiting room, the clinician who facilitates the treatments through the medical device, trained and certified, typically will be a massage therapist, DNA by mm -hmm. trade. They'll come in, they'll greet you, they'll welcome into your room. Now everything's going to happen in an atmosphere with a massage bed. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see the medical device. Mm -hmm. Number one is you'll get introduced to the medical device. You'll get a preview of what we're going to do that day. The most important thing that really sets us apart mm -hmm. is the connection we get to have with the equipment. Mm -hmm. And so the equipment really, in this, part, in this piece, you'll really understand how much we are the facilitators mm -hmm. of the equipment, and it's not based on our knowledge, obviously the protocols. But the AI will take readings of the body. So everything will... So they'll do a diagnose, basically. Mm -hmm. So it's not that someone can come in and say, hey, this is what's my problem. No, let's really find out through the body what the body is giving us feedback of what the real issue is. If yeah, I might yeah. interrupt... The, yeah. the devices don't diagnose, okay. but they're telling us exactly electrically where the problem is and where the disruption is. Uh, okay. So then you know how to, where to go in the body to reconnect. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. hearing for a disconnection, which mm -hmm. is zero numbers mm -hmm. or low sound, mm -hmm. like static. Mm -hmm. They'll be hearing that sound or really high tones mm -hmm. um, or high inflammation. We'll take care of that first. Mm. So a lot of times people will come with a migraine or they'll come with neuropathy and, and they can't feel the toes or they feel needle pain in their, mm. in their toes. The disconnection is going up in their brain, mm. down the spine, and not signaling fully and correctly mm. to the feet. And so we're going to follow up that line, the meridians, acupuncture points. Once we are clear on that and we work with that first, then we facilitate the protocol. And I see it as there's no more resistance. Yeah. So then the body's open to receive. So how important is it, now this is an interesting concept, but how important is it that the person being treated believes in the treatment? I, I'm going to ask Tammy that because we have a personal experience, right? We do. How, how important is it that, that you at least be open to the possibility of this technology being able to, to reconnect those, those connections? Well, we tell people, <laughs> the joke is, Crabby people don't get better as fast as happy people. <laughs> so our goal is to make every patient laugh or smile. During yeah. the and uh, when people say, well, I'm really skeptical. I say, call my bluff mm. because it'll work whether or not. If some people really have some, some problems going on and some real electrical disruption, mm -hmm. it might be important to treat the brain first mm. to and we've clear talked about that blockage that. Mm -hmm. so that they're open Receiving. And would that be a case too for PTSD? Because you and I have talked about that and how powerful this technology is for people that struggle with PTSD. It is. Because I think that's probably a scary thing for people that have had PTSD to go back and relive all of that, where this really goes to the core, right, and helps to repair that damage that's done in the brain. I think when we treat things like, obviously we do regular hips, backs, yeah. knees, you know, the traditional things when you think of pain or injury. Mm -hmm. 
But when we talk about the neurological, when mm. we talk about depression, when we talk about PTSD, when we're talking about bipolar, mm -hmm. and we take readings of the brain and mm -hmm. can see where the disruption is, people look at us with tears in their eyes and they say, you mean there really is something wrong Aww. with me? That it's not just emotional. Yeah, it's not, they're not just growing something, crazy. Yeah, that yeah. it's something that we can see the electrical disruption and then the equipment with the artificial intelligence sends out a corrective signal. And really that's what makes the devices different from other electrical devices mm -hmm. out there is the artificial intelligence and the equipment's ability to read the tissue and then through the artificial intelligence send out a corrective signal and then it recalibrates a hundred times per second. Mm. Well, so, I know when you did mine, at, at, what, a week ago or so, you said that, what was it, my brain was... Your readings was, were low. My readings were low. Yes. Well, and so what does that mean? Is in normal healthy tissue resonates at a certain frequency. Mm -hmm. Anything that's impaired, injured, diseased, or degenerating mm -hmm. registers at a lower frequency. Mm. But most of our disease processes start with inflammation. Yeah. So then your readings are too high. Huh. You have, we need to increase your pigments in your fruits and vegetables. I eat so well. Right, you do. <laughs> and so it might be increasing your good oils yeah, to, good facilitate, oil. to facilitate the absorption of those pigments. But that's also, I mean, that's bringing something to an awareness. Again, I always say you can't change what you don't know. But you don't acknowledge, and and obviously having a machine to be able to look. I mean, how do how do we know what the electrical currents are doing in our bodies, and how they're affecting our everyday, and how many people beat themselves up over depression and anxiety when really it's just a miss. Connected. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what, I don't know what the terminology is, but you know, for years we've we've said um, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to you right. know I'm going to get my batteries recharged. That's literally what happens when yeah. you fall asleep is your batteries are recharged. Yeah, that's true. So. I know you've got some slides, too, that you can kind of go over. Yeah. I don't know, which, which would you like to, to address first? Well, if we go on to the next slide, please. Um, through proper implementation of the protocols, we are able to increase the body's own ability to heal mm -hmm. by a documented 500% success. Uh, 500%. Um, awesome. It's non-drug, it's non-invasive. The results are quick. Most of our patients start to feel the results in the very first treatment. Mm -hmm. And they're surprised. They get off the table with tears in their eyes and they say, I can't believe that I feel better. Yeah. I put my hands on my hips and I say, well, isn't that why you came? <laughs> but people are so used to trying things. Yeah, and not and having not, it work. And not having the results. That and especially with for. drugs. Right. You know, we talked about that on the way here as well, is that people are over-drugged where it's if we can look at alternative things, whether it's nutrition or whether it's through this kind of mm -hmm. technology, to be able to help them that's non-evasive, you know, to really get to the core. Because there's too many things that are, in my opinion, we could get really a, political about this, but in my opinion, we're, we're just dealing drugs out so much when there's other things that are out there. So I love that this is a, a different way of attacking at the core, mm -hmm. at the core. Yeah. yeah? Yes, absolutely. And so, and what's important to know is this technology has been around a long time. Mm -hmm. about that same scientific team that gave us some of the greatest diagnostic equipment available. Mm. And this was one of, the, one of their last devices that they brought to us. And why do you think it hasn't hard. gotten out to the real public? Just they didn't, they didn't get it out there? I think that maybe the medical industry today doesn't see that there's enough money to be made in it. Uh, because when you're thinking, you know, for a simple carpal tunnel, right. you treat someone Monday through Friday for two weeks, it's about $1,500. Mm -hmm. But that carpal tunnel surgery is typically twenty-five dollars to $30,000, yeah. employs a lot of people. Mm -hmm. For us, we're happy to bring this technology. Yeah. And we're happy, you know, to do that. We're not looking for the twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. So, and do you work with insurances as well? Like I know you had mentioned, um, you can go through the alternative. Is that right? Well, you can. We can give patients a super bill. We don't choose to bill insurance uh -huh. because we can give our patients a better price if we don't bill insurance. Right. And so, but a lot of health plans could probably use. I know when I did my health plan, we just went to alternative stuff and then just gave it back to our. What do they call it health? Savings plan? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we can run a health savings account. Mm -hmm. uh, cards like a credit card, we can do that. Um, uh, there are alternatives, there are financing options. And so when people say, well, do you bill insurance? We ask them, have you met your deductible yet? Mm. And try and set them up to meet that deductible. Mm. And then take it from there. Huh. So it's engage us in a conversation. Because the purpose of PIPCOA is to bring this to the public. Yeah. 
It's a crime that this hasn't been available to the general public. Mm -hmm. You know, I became a nurse in 1982. That's not just yesterday. I'll bet that was before you were born. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> and um, but the thousands of people that I have seen suffer over the years mm -hmm. that didn't need to die or didn't need to ha suffer their whole life, if they would have had access to this. Yeah. Because that really is the mission of PIPCOA. Is yeah. to go out and find them, and the franchise model was the best way for us to go out and find them. Which you're opening franchises all over the place. We are. I mean, I know that you're only here for a couple of weeks, right? But then you're off to other places, opening up and doing trainings and yes. and helping people really learn. You've been here for a week, right? Week and a half. Week and a half. <laughs> Training. Yes. <laughs> Training. Awesome. So, what are the what are the things can people if they're if they're listening right now or if they know people. That are struggling. How do they get a hold of hold of you, or um, here in Hawaii, or if there's nationwide? That's a great question. We were in Las Vegas when we started, mm -hmm. and we got an important phone call in connection to a patient in Queens Hospital. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, through a lot of the support there, we were able to treat a man from the Big Island who was paralyzed with a neurological condition. Mm. And my husband is, is from here, from, from Kahuku, and it, it was our dream to come back here and, and to offer this gift. And so at our clinic, we have packages, we fluctuated prices mm. to be able to feed, be, fit the needs, excuse me, fit the needs of local yeah. families. And it's been a pleasure to increase our staff, um, local beautiful women that have a desire to mm. increase their knowledge and give back to their community. And... That's our number one. And so we have a location in Kaneohe. We started in Kahuku at a wellness center, Kola Wellness Center. And I've been to your place. Yeah. Yeah, in <laughs> Kaneohe. Yes, so. we just had a warm ground opening um, just a week ago. And we are ready. Our, our biggest desire to move so quickly was so that we could have wheelchair accessibility. Mm. We have uh, a wheelchair accessible room that probably the most filled room we have. Um, and with multiple treatment rooms so that we can help a variety of people that are seeking for yeah. answers and direction that know that there's something missing and hoping that this may be the last stop. That's awesome. That's awesome. And give me your phone number of where they can call you. 808-203-9365. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And thank you so much, Karina and Tammy, for being on the show today and, and sharing this technology with the people in the community. And whether they're here in Hawaii, I mean, this, this goes on internet, so, or they're all around the world. Is there a website, a main website that you have? The website is www.pibcoa.com. Mm -hmm. And Becky, I want to say from my heart, thank mm -hmm. you so much for having us. You're because so you welcome. are going to be the instrument in helping so many people yeah. with your heart and your desire get this out so we want to thank you thank you and thank you for treating me you're welcome <laughs> telling me my brain needs some more uh, <laughs> stuff going on right so thank you guys so much for for coming on we we're out of time today and uh, we'll wrap it up so i'm becky sampson with it's about time on think tech live streaming network series we've been talking to karina pearl and tammy wadsworth with pipco the pain injury and brain centers of america so thank you our broad to our broadcast engineers or and our floor manager, and to Jay Fidel, our executive producer who puts this all together. So, and of course, I'll see you next Wednesday for more of It's About Time on ThinkTech. I'm Becky Sampson. Aloha, everyone. <laughs>